Hi friends, welcome to Edupedia World. This is Varun Ganga. Friends, in our last session, we have seen some examples regarding how to find square roots of perfect squares by using Vedic methodology. And now, in this session, we are going to see some more examples in which we are going to find the square roots of perfect square by using the same Vedic methodology. So why do it? Let us see what those examples are. The example that I am going to take in this session is find the square root of 15,376. So friends, in order to find the square root of 15,376 at first, we have to write the number and we have to split the number into two parts as shown below. So let us write the number first. I am writing the number 15,376 and with the use of a vertical bar, I am dividing this number into two parts in such a way that the last two digits that is 7 and 6 should come in the first part and the remaining digits that is 153 should come in the second part. So friends, as I have told in our earlier session that if we get the last digit as 6 in the square root, the last digit what we are going to get in our answer may be 4 or 6. But in order to make confirmation which of these two digits fits best, we have to take the second part that is 153. And we had to make a thorough check in which of the given square numbers does the digit does the number 153 lies. So friends, if you observe the number 153 lies between 12 square and 13 square that is 144 and 169. And if you observe very carefully, the number is very nearer to the smallest square number that is 12 square. Therefore. Now what we have to do here is, we have to take the smallest digit in the first part of the answer that is 4. Since the number 153 is very near to the smallest square number, therefore we have to take the smallest digit in the first part of the answer. And the, and the answer what we have to take here is 4. And coming to the second part of the answer, as I have told in our earlier session that we have to take always the least square number that is 2. And therefore, now what we have got here is the first part of the answer is 4 and the second part of the answer is 12. And by combining these two parts, that is the second part with the first part, we get the final answer. And we can say that square root of 15,376 is equals to 124. So friends, this is the way how we can use finding the square roots of perfect squares methodology in Vedic mathematics to find the square roots of perfect squares. So friends, I hope that you have understood pretty well how to use this square roots of perfect squares methodology. So friends, in the next session, we are going to have a look of some more examples regarding the same Vedic methodology that is finding the square roots of perfect squares. For watching this video, thank you. Have a nice day.